What's a red flag when looking for a job? If the job description has about 20 items of which one is sales your job is going to be sales. Making jokes about overtime and crunch time. Guaranteed it's going to be in nights and weekends are optional, but not actually optional, place. Always ask them why the person you are replacing left the job. The way they answer this could be a red flag. We are a family here which means this is how they try to make up for the shitty pay in long hours. I got a call from a subway I applied to telling me my interview was in 10 minutes. That was the first I heard from them after submitting my application. A former co-worker shared this tidbit with me years ago and it works wonders. Try to schedule your in-person interview as late in the afternoon as possible. Relevant to your position. If you're expecting a 9 to 5 job, schedule your interview for 4. 0, zero or 4. 30. You probably discussed after hours work etc during the interview. When you are done, you should be able to look around, are people still working? Is the parking lot empty? You can match up the evidence with what was claimed during the interview and from that. Judge how realistic the entire job description is based on how they treated the after hours work. This was a red flag I had during an interview process once. I was doing a phone interview for an IT position and the person I was interviewing with basically changed the details of the job during the interview. Instead of the first shift hours the position promised. He immediately went into saying it would be 6 plus months before the opportunity for first shift would even be a possibility. Also, he was big into asking how dedicated I was to jobs. The idea of weekend shifts, again, not in the original description, kept coming up and how everyone had to be a team player and help out on weekends when needed. The kicker was when he started talking about how many hours he worked. He was bragging that he was up at 6 a.m. every day working. Then he'd go into the office for the day, come home to see his family for dinner, and get right back to work until 10 to 11 p.m. every night. I had never been turned off from a job faster in my life. He asked me to think things over and he'd send me some paperwork via email. Needless to say, I called him the next morning and declined the job. It was the worst interview process I'd ever been in. Couple of things. Open interviews admittedly I've fallen for this a few times but I was young and stupid. It's clear they have a high turnover so they're trying to secure as many people as they can. Most of the time these open interview jobs don't have salaries. Just commission. Refusal or reluctancy to share details over the phone this is what usually ends up in you turning up to an open interview. If they withhold information about the role, what you'll be doing etc. That's a huge red flag. They just want to get you in the door for an interview to pressure you into joining. If you ask them what the pay is and they start off with what you could be making after so much time and they start rambling about the race process. Run the other way. Looking for rock stars in a job description. Unless of course the posting is in fact for a position to be a rock star. Arrived for an interview not too long ago. Showed up 15 minutes early and had all my certs to prove training. Waited over 20 minutes before the secretary led me to a conference room. Waited another 40 minutes and got fed up. Quality manager walked in as I was getting up to leave. He was very offended when I told him he had wasted my time and I would never accept a position after being left to wait almost an hour while having an appointment. Any job that requires an upfront cost. This is a telltale sign that you are getting wrapped up into a MLM pyramid scheme. I had a team lead interview me for a contract once say bluntly. You don't want to work here, it's horrible. He was right and still undersold the experience somehow. Family owned and operated. The family members will not be held to the same standards as you. You walk in and none of the employees greet you if not outright ignore you. You realize it's a very cliquey place. Fuck office politics. I interviewed for a company that had a recruiter after me pretty hard. The company was just moving into my market and the reviews on Glassdoor definitely mentioned people being frustrated with a bro culture. All of my interviews were over FaceTime with the managers showing up in their pajamas from home and admitting that since the company is still growing the workload was pretty much 7 days a week until you got your new team hired and running, it just wasn't very professional and it was obvious they didn't have structure or care about people's time. 
I also don't trust companies that brag about things like Nerf gun fights around the office and constant happy hour events. Those perks are fun but it's clear when that's all they talk about in a job posting that they're trying to distract you from other issues. I need to see that your company culture is enriching and creates success. Not free lunches. Places who always say they are hiring and always taking applications but you never actually see anyone new being trained or anything. It means people are quitting constantly and management isn't hiring new people. So they are critically understaffed on top of poorly managed. This is the biggest red flag of them all. Hey sweaty I have an amazing bussiness opportunity for you. How would you like to be your own boss the CEO of your own company and become a millionaire just from working on your? It's so easy. All you have to do is trick other people into joining your team and they will do all the work for you while you take most of their profits. So what do you say insert victim's name here wanna join my team? It's only $499. 99 for a starter pack. You've gotta spend to make. I think it's a weird question to ask a prospective employer. But an important one. What are your company values? It's kinda like asking on a first date your date's life philosophy. But man. It becomes evident when a company has no values. And if you don't have anything to strive for other than a dollar. Your employees won't last. If you are expected to work right off without sufficient training. It reflects poorly on the company's management and likely also means that they don't care about the employees. Unfortunately I have worked for a couple of places that hired roughly 75 plus people 3 times per week at several locations just to keep up with turnover. Long personality quizzes during the application. They are a huge red flag that the manager is incompetent. If it feels like you have the job before your interview. I once applied to a trainee position. I got to the interview and it felt like I had already got the position and the meeting was just for details. It was weird. He looked at my docs more as a formality but apart from the excessive praise. I was never actually asked anything. I was told I would do a week trial with only travel expenses paid. During that week there was no training or anything. I heard some not nice things, also some illegal things, whilst there. The boss was making plans to go out of the country for an extended period within two months and I'd be taking over for him as well as expected to bring in clients too. Also I wasn't deemed to be working fast enough and therefore they wanted to pay me less than for an hour. I didn't go back. I was recently, roughly two months ago, given a job offer from a company I was really interested in. The job sounded great. Was in a career path I was originally hoping for when graduating. And was back in my hometown so I could see some old friends and family regularly. When they made me an offer. It was a pretty big pay cut from what I'm currently making. Actual salary would have been flat out even. I hate my current job. So that would have been okay by me. However. I would be losing a week of vacation. A week of paid sick time. Getting slightly worse benefits. And half of what my current company offers in 401k matching. When I asked what was available for negotiation. They got mad at me. In fact. They expected me to make this life-altering decision in 24 hours with little to no questions asked. And got even more mad that I wanted to negotiate my ducking life instead of just say yes or no. So. I ended up just walking away. I hate my current bosses. But not enough to walk away from 4 weeks of vacation and an extra week of sick leave. And especially not for. Given the signs. People who will treat me the exact same way as my bosses. If they ask you to pay for training, that's usually a red flag that it's an MLM or pyramid scheme. If they ask you to buy stuff on commission and then it's your job to resell it. Big OL red flag. I've had job interviews where the whole company gave me a weird vibe, lots of psychology questions like do you like to be in control? While sitting in an office building with zero privacy, all of the offices had glass walls. So everyone could see everyone else. Needless to say. I didn't accept their offer.